hey developers so in this video i'm going to talk about what are these three layers in tailwind css actually first two are layers and the third one is just a directive but let's understand how it works and how you can get benefit of these so if you go to tailwind css documentation there is not much explained about these layers that's because these are nothing but the separation of concerns let me give you an example so if i open my text editor as you can see i have a simple react project and i have installed tailwind in it so as you can see i have a heading element and a paragraph element and also as you can see i have a font semi bold and text 48 pixel for heading element now let's say i want to style these heading elements everywhere and i don't want to repeat these classes so for that purpose i can use the base layer to style the base element for example h1 h2 h3 input elements paragraph elements anything i want so for that purpose you can use add layer base and then you can style any base elements so we want to style the h1 element so let's type h1 and here i can type any style i want to apply so for example i want to use font weight to let's say 600 and i also want to use font size and i want to use 48 pixels so let me save this and let me go back to app.tsx as you can see i have applied font semi bold and text 5xl and let me show you the output in the browser so this is my heading element and if i remove these classes and if i also remove the class name as well and if i save this file and if i go back to my browser as you can see nothing has changed if i reload the browser as you can see nothing has been changed that is because i have styled the h1 element in the base layer so let's go back to the base layer and uh, let's add a color so let's add color blue if i save this file and go back to the browser again as you can see the h1 has been styled as well so same like that i can style other base elements for example forms for example tables so you can style anything you want so same like this base layer you can also use the components layer to define your component classes so let's say for example i want to use the components layer so here i have to use the components and here i can define any component i want so let's say for example i want to use the card component and here i can define the components classes let's say width is equal to 500 pixels and uh, let's go height 400 pixels border radius is going to be 20 pixels and also i want to apply padding so let's go with 10 pixel now i can use this card class and i can go back to app.tsx and i can apply this to any component i want so let's say i want to use a div element here and here I will go with class name card and uh, if I save this file you will not see anything because we have not given any background so let's give a background background color is going to be let's go with brown and uh, if I go back to the browser as you can see I have a card component so this is how you can get benefit of these two layers in Tailwind CSS and uh, these are actually separation of concerns so this is the base styles and uh, you have defined all the base styles here and uh, for the components you can define the components here in the next video i'm going to talk about at apply directive and also at utility directive so don't miss the next video i'll see you in that video